Hello and welcome to another video from Minus Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we are looking at the 1986 release by Marvel Comics from their series of annuals. And this particular annual we're looking at today is based on the classic 1980s television series, The A-Team. Um, okay, so this is the annual in front of us. And it says at the front, The A-Team annual. And you can see the four members of the A-Team. So you've got uh, John Hannibal Smith, B.A. Baracus, Howling Mad Murdoch, and Timbleton Peck, otherwise known as Face Man. Uh, okay, so that is the front of the annual. Let's just flip the annual over and see what we've got on the back. And on the back, well, it's exactly the same images. It says the A-Team annual, again with Hannibal, B.A. Murdoch, and Face Man. And you've got the ISBN barcode at the bottom there. Um, and let's just have a very quick look at the spline. And it says the AT manual and Marvel. It is um, dented a little bit at the bottom there. I don't probably why it's been where it's been sitting on a shelf for all these years. Uh, but other than that, the annual is in pretty much pristine condition. Um, now, this annual contains uh, stories, strip stories. Um, information, articles and features, and even games uh, that feature the famous Crack Commando unit who survive as soldiers of fortune. So if you have a problem and no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you could hire the A-Team. Okay, let's open it up and have a look on the inside. Okay, so I've opened the front cover and here we have the A-Team and that's kind of like the logo that you used to see at the beginning of the television program. And then you can say, see uh, B.A. Baracus, Templeton Peck, Hannibal Smith and Howling Mad Murdoch um, as played by Mr. T, Dirk Benedict, um, George Peppard and Dwight Schwartz. And at the bottom right hand corner, you have got the original cover price which was four pound 25 pence that was quite expensive back in 1986 there we are okay so on to the first page and it says the a team it says 10 years ago a crack crack unit of marine commandos were sentenced to prison by a military court for a crime they did not commit these men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to los angeles underground today still wanted by the government they survive as soldiers of fortune if you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. And it says, this A-Team manual belongs to, and there's a space there for your name and address. And the contents include the flight of the red bird, the A-Team word search, John Hannibal Smith profile, Templeton the face man peck profile, the A-Team action album, who kidnapped Kuramoto, the A-Team alterations, BA bad attitude Baracus profile, Howling Mad Murdoch profile and puzzle answers and solution. And then you've got all the copyright information at the bottom of the page just here. Okay, so onto the first page. And this is the A-Team in The Flight of the Red Bird. And this is a full comic strip story. And it features Hannibal Smith, Howling Mad Murdoch, B.A. Barakas, Amy Allen and The Face Man. Um, Amy was the girl who start, who was the first um, new companion for the A team, um, the, who was the, the first star from the actual um, film before it became the series. Okay, so this is a four color comic strip story, um, and as I say it's all based on the television um, program of the eighties, which was a great program. I hasten to add. Um, yeah, very, very good. And it was such a popular program. It ran for quite a number of seasons, in actual fact. Um, yeah, and there was a lot of big stars that appeared in it. Um, Boy George, Culture Club was in it. And some of the episodes, the wrestling guys, um, Hulk Hogan made an appearance in it. So there we go. It was a very, very big and popular television series. Okay, and then we come on to the 18 word search. Um pretty much a basic word search. Uh, profile team member, which is Hannibal, um, the Colonel. Um, profile team is Face, uh, otherwise known as Templeton Peck. And it's the A-Team Action Album, um, re-enlisting in the army, for example, or riding Shogun in a chopper, which might have to be 
vacated before the end of the ride. <laughs> George Peppard. And that was from a scene from the from the beginning of the opening credits. And again, all these are images from the actual television program. There's quite a lot of different ones. Um, I say that they're all live images from the program. And then we come on to the second story, which is Who Kidnapped Kiramoto? And again, it features Hannibal, Murdoch, B.A. Brackers, Amy, and uh, Face. And it is again a four color uh, comic strip story. Original stories, these are as well. They're not. Uh, not copies of anything, they're original stories that were wrote for this particular annual. Um, and the good thing about these, this particular annual is these are quite long stories. They're not short, sweet, and, and end abruptly. They're full, long stories. So there we go. Um, and that brings us to the end of the stories. And it's got the A-Team alterations. The fun scenes may look identical, but in fact, there are eight differences between the illustrations. Can you spot them? So just spot the differences. And the answers are on page 61. Can I see anything straight away? Hmm. Well, I can see that's missing from that image there. That's the first one I've seen. And then we've got the profile on uh, B.A. Bracus, otherwise played for by Mr. T. And then the profile on Howling Mad Murdoch, um, played by Dwight Schwartz. And there's the answers to the word search and the answers to the uh, missing items from one picture to the other. And then we're back on to the uh, same image as what was in the front of the... Um, behind the covers and we got the same image at the back so that brings us to the end of the a team annual so how well did these annuals do well 86 the annuals were still very popular um, still big things and they were still um, being released for the christmas um, period um, as with all the annuals that have appeared over the years, they came in late so that they were there for the Christmas um, holiday period. <clears throat> so pretty much every kid had a, a annual in their stocking or in their uh, Christmas sack on Christmas morning. Um, so there was a, a big, big range of annuals that were produced. Uh, mo of, most of them were TV related. You did have your pop star ones as well, and you also had your football teams. Um, but the the TV related ones were were the most popular ones, um, and really the the ones that were produced. So many varieties of different ones were produced. Um, so yeah, they done all okay. Remember back in the the eighties, videos were still a brand new thing. You really didn't see many of them around. Um, not really until the 90s when it became a very popular thing. Um, and then obviously then it moved on to DVDs um, and then obviously on to live stream and and, um, and uh, internet and so on. And, and of course now we've got access to everything via the internet um, and your satellite channels. So yeah, back then, big. Um, all the annuals done very, very well, as you would expect. Um, and now we're talking getting on for just under 40 years later, uh, these annuals are now becoming quite difficult to find, um, especially in this condition. And this is um, a, a shop find annual. Um, it was never sold, it's still pristine, um, apart from a, a few little um, dents to the spline at the top and bottom, which I imagine that's from where it would have been sitting on the shelf for all these years. Uh, but generally, um, yeah, it's uh, other than that, it is in pretty much pristine condition. So finding them like this is an achievement and a half. Uh, however, we at Minus Touch have managed to find a few, and they're currently available to purchase on the Minus Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It'll take you straight to the website, where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage annuals, and many other vintage toys, games, and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on our website, for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I'm absolutely positive that you're not gonna to wanna to miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products. 
which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you are looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky that you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.